Hey everybody, happy Friday. I'm Chaz Christopher and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about me by giving you 20 things about me you may or may not already know. Getting to know me. Getting to know all about me. Number one. I love the color blue. I used to be in love with green, and then one day blue came into my life and just swept me off my feet, and now I am utterly in love with blue. More specifically, if you've ever been to like Cozumel or Cancun, Bahamas, that color of the water there, ah, oh, beautiful. Thing number two, I live in Brooklyn, New York. I, when I first moved to New York, I actually lived in the East Village, and then I moved out to Brooklyn, and I love Brooklyn gonna have a video for you that takes you around my first neighborhood here and what it was like when I first got here so stay tuned for that thing number three my absolute favorite animal of all time is a killer well if you've seen the video you know I was lucky enough to be around them work at SeaWorld as an animal trainer and they are just so majestic so beautiful so intelligent from as long as I can remember the probably the first time I ever saw a picture of a killer well loved it it was beautiful animal to me and their power their intelligence which actually leads me to thing number four. What the? Okay, one camera down, <laughs> one more to go. Thing number four, I have two tattoos. One of which is actually of a killer whale and an eagle because my favorite animal, as I just said, was a killer whale. And my brother's favorite animal was an eagle. So we went at 18 and got a tattoo together. Thing number five, I am not very eye-hand coordinated at all. Sports have never been my thing with an exception of something like swimming, which doesn't require much eye-hand coordination. Eye-hand. <laughs> thing number six. I first appeared on YouTube in 2007. Unbeknownst to me, I didn't find out until like a year later when a friend had told me, but an advisor had uploaded a project I had done in high school online. This was after I had already graduated, I, I wasn't in contact with them and I had no way of knowing until a friend reached out and said, oh, hey, Chaz, you're on YouTube. Houston and other major cities are in a trauma care crisis that most citizens are not aware of. Because of a lack of communication between EMS providers, a shortage of level one trauma care centers, and in an age of terrorism, there would be no trauma care in a time that it was desperately needed. I'm Chaz. It's kind of funny because in 2008, I had actually started my YouTube channel and started putting videos out with a friend because other friends suggested that we do a YouTube channel together because we were so ridiculous together. And we did. And I'm gonna teach something relevant, something modern, the internet. My name is Chaz, and welcome to this week's edition of the Chaz and Nita Show. It feels like an eternity ago. It's so weird to even think about. That's not seven, Chaz. Thing number seven, I actually graduated high school early. I knew I wanted to be an animal trainer and I was in a really bad situation with my biological parents. So I made the decision I was gonna get out of school as fast as I can and get away from the town I was living in as fast as I can and I did it. It took a lot of work, some summer classes. I was also going to college while I'm in my last year of high school. So it was a lot. I didn't have much of a life because I was working, but I got out of there and it was amazing. <laughs> Number eight, now it just feels like I'm bragging about myself. So by the time that I was 23, I'd already had achieved my dream job for a couple years, bought a house and been where most people, it takes a lifetime to get to because I had so much drive and ambition that got me there, that got me, as I said, graduated early, all of that stuff. So at 23, I kind of like looked at my life and was thinking, what's next? How do I ever top all of this? And then I eventually changed my entire life and moved to New York and now my life is very much different. <laughs> Number nine. If you follow this channel for a bit, you know that I love to study world religions. It fascinates me. The human mind fascinates me. I had a, a connection with the, with the main religion, which made me want to see other peoples and how they got involved with religion and where it all started, why humans started these different beliefs. No idea why it fascinates me, but it really does. And I read some books that most people would find so boring. <laughs> Number 10, I want to adopt a kid. I don't want to have a kid biologically because one, I've had so many health issues and two, I feel like I need to pay it forward. I was adopted, I want to pay it forward to somebody else and give them that chance. There's so many kids out there that need loving parents and I wouldn't feel right living a life where I never 
went and helped somebody else out. There's so many kids out there that are just looking for loving parents and I want to be a loving parent to them. Which leads me to thing number 11. I really can't do hand gestures anymore. 11? 11? I've had three major illnesses in my life that have completely changed my life overnight. I went from being the strong, healthy, yay person to pretty much bedridden. The first one happened when I was in college. The second one was in 2011. And the third one was in 2014. And each time I was completely changed from those experiences. I've talked about one of them on this channel. I plan on talking about the other two. The first one is feel so, I feel so detached from it now because it was so far long ago and so much has happened since then. So I don't know if I'll do a video on that ever, but I definitely will do a video on the most recent one. Number 12, I love bringing people together. Part of my passion of making the world a better place is bringing people from different beliefs, different mindsets together. It's to start a conversation. That's why I originally started this channel. I kind of learned that part of making the world a better place too is taking people's minds off of all the craziness that's going around. So my channel kind of does a little bit of all over the place in this because I want to talk about serious issues and I want people to come together and, and talk, but I also want to take your mind off of the craziness that's going on and let you have a moment of just fun, you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, however long the video is, where you don't have to think about the craziness that consumes all of our life. We're in such polarized times right now, so it's kind of like I'm always pulling my hair out, but who doesn't love a good challenge? 30. Although I have a social media presence, I am actually not innately a social media person. I know I said earlier I started a YouTube channel back in 2008. Obviously I have to be somewhat of a social media person if I did that then and here I am again, this 10 years later, back on YouTube. What I mean by I'm not a social media person is, say for like Instagram stories, it is not my first thought to pull out my phone and record what I'm doing in my everyday life or film the dinners I'm having or the walks I'm taking with Clark, but I maintain a social media presence for everything that I just said about bringing people together, making the world a better place, and I've actually fallen in love with social media. I do love Instagram, I do love YouTube, I love the power that they can have of bringing people together, and so while I may not be good at it, I'm practicing and I'm trying to get better for you. 14. Earlier I said I'm not good at eye-hand coordination, so swimming has always been my favorite sport. There was a brief moment, soccer was up there, and I tried out for it. I instantly broke my sternum. So soccer went out the window, and swimming stayed. 15. My celebrity cross is Jeremy Jordan. He can sing. He can sing. know him from movies like the last five years he's done a lot of Broadway he was in the TV show smash when he sings the song Broadway here I come Broadway, here I come here I come and the last thing I hear as the impact grows near is it a scream or a cheer That was probably the moment I was like, swooned. Okay, now this is where it gets really difficult. How do I do 16? 16! <laughs> I am awful with pop culture. Lots of celebrities, I have no idea who they are. When people start talking to me about them, I'm instantly like, what the are they talking about? I have no idea. My whole life I've been like that. I've just not been, been big into the celebrity worship culture we have, like the Kardashians or None of that stuff has ever entertained me. I do have idols like Betty White. I love her. I've always been drawn to her or Ellen. I mean, I do have people that I know of, these mainstream people, but as far as following their lives or being huge fans, I'm just not a fan type person. I don't know why, part of my personality. 17. 9-11 has been this reappearing number in my life over and over and I would see it everywhere. And obviously that's a scary number, especially after the events that happened here on 9-11, but it actually is the day that I ended up getting adopted on. And usually when I see the numbers 9-11, something big is coming in my life and it's usually positive, with an exception of obviously what happened on 9-11 awful. 18. I'm slightly dyslexic. Sometimes when it's a word, I like to switch letters around or if I have to, again, eye hand coordination, but I have to do something that crosses the body. 
If you know me, I love yoga. I guess it's technically another thing. 19! But anytime that they're talking about having to, you know, bring this to across your body or do this across your body, my brain, it just gets crazy in there. And I really have to like stop, really focus, find my right arm, walk me through the process. Ultimately, I get it done. 20! <laughs> All right, the last thing about me is I love being in nature. I love going on hikes. I love being surrounded by trees. I love seeing beautiful water. I, I just love it. I love that the energy it gives me. I find peace of mind. I think it's because I grew up in woods and I would just, I had no friends that lived by me because we lived on a lot of properties. So I would just wander the woods and get lost and build forts and have my own territory and maybe it's like that was my piece that I found as a child that had something really bad going on at home and I could always escape into the woods or by a pond or a creek and so now as in my adult life I assume that's why I still love finding nature and going on hikes I try to visit parks as often as I can I do actually go to a park every day because I have a dog <laughs> so that has been 20 things about me that you may or may not have known Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big likes up. Let me know in the comments below what you found most interesting about me, what you had no idea, or maybe some things you were like, yeah, I knew that, Chaz. Let me know in the comments below. Be social with me on other social media platforms. I know I said I'm not that good at it, but I'm working on it. And most importantly, you do you, I'll do me, and I'll see you next Friday. Getting to know you.